Hi, I'm Rick Fosbrink, Executive Director of Theater Historical Society of America. We're back on our inaugural Historic Theaters Day. We are at Heinz Hall, originally the Lowe's Penn Theater in downtown Pittsburgh. We're with Carl Mancuso. And Carl, could you tell us a little bit more about uh, the restoration of this place? Because, I mean, it wasn't just yesterday, it was a while ago. Right. Well, Mr. Hines actually saved this magnificent theater from the wrecking ball. Mm -hmm. and brought the uh, Pittsburgh Symphony, Pittsburgh Ballet, the Opera, and the CLO mm -hmm. all together under this roof in 1970 okay. and made the initial conversion from the Lowe's Pen to Heinz Hall. And the work that was done in here was to modernize the theater, to make it more acceptable for symphony-type concerts mm -hmm. and musical performances, mm -hmm. And in the process, you know, some of the beautiful ornate plaster work that existed in this theater got sacrificed, but it was right. in the name of a trade-off for acoustics. Right. And so today, this is the home of the world-renowned Pittsburgh Symphony. It is. And, and it's owned by the symphony. And owned by the Pittsburgh Symphony as well. Uh, but you also do other events here, so you have some Broadway series shows, you've got other events. What else happens here at Heinz Hall? Oh, well, all kinds of rentals, comedians, uh, popular acts. Uh, the um, Pittsburgh Symphony also has a Heinz Hall Presents series mm -hmm. where we present popular artists. And uh, in addition, we are still playing Broadway in the hall. Mm -hmm. So the hall is used for many different activities over the course of the year beyond the Pittsburgh Symphony, but the Pittsburgh Symphony is the predominant uh, client as right. well as owner of the building. Wonderful. Well, there are more stories to be told in this beautiful theater and theaters all over the country. So we want you to share your story with us too. Uh, send us or share us, uh, share with us your videos or photographs or stories and use the hashtag Historic Theaters Day. We'll be back with more.